Okay, let's talk about the best fraction hack ever or fraction trick. If you're studying math and you have to deal with fractions, which is pretty much everybody out there uh, sometime in your life, uh, then you want to know this little kind of shortcut, hack, trick, call it what you want, but you want to know this. Now, um, I'm going to get into this in a second, but let me just specify right now that this particular um, thing that I'm going to show you, this shortcut, this hack, has to do specifically with addition and subtraction of fractions. Okay, so got some examples here. We'll take a look how it works. But this is one of these like must know, must remember type of things. And uh, before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over many, many years have constructed many online math courses. So if you want to check out my full math learning program and get all my complete instruction, I'm going to leave a link uh, to that in the description of this video. Of course, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos, uh, mostly in middle and high school and some advanced mathematics. So if you're in that range of education uh, in terms of your uh, math education, then hopefully you'll subscribe. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get into it, right? So here is a basic fraction problem. We're going to start with some easy stuff, then I'll show you how this little hack uh, works for more challenging stuff. All right, now, um, on many of my videos, we're going to start with this basic problems, but I and every time I have an opportunity to stress this tip, hack, trick, whatever you want to call it, I stress this because this is one of the most... Um, just great little things to have in your back pocket in terms of dealing with math. So let me just uh, stress a few things here, okay? This fraction thing I want to be teaching you has to do when we're dealing with addition or subtraction of fractions. So here we're clearly um, adding fractions. Now, let's take, take a look at uh, how we you know, typically um, approach this problem, right? So I'm going to do it kind of the standard way, which, by the way, you need to know how to do. Now, the standard way when we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions, then you your brain kind of goes into, oh, I need to find the LCD, the lowest common denominator, et cetera, et cetera, right? And we're going to go ahead and do this problem by finding the lowest common de denominator, and then we'll do it using the hack, okay? Then we'll do the rest of these examples using this little uh, trick. Okay, so the lowest common denominator is what? Okay, hopefully all of you out there said 15. If you said 15, that's excellent. Okay. So what you need to do, or what we need to do in this problem is change both denominators to have, uh, here, this one has three, this one has five. We need to rewrite them such that they both have 15 down here. Okay. Because we can't add or subtract fractions unless they have the exact same denominator. So the way we do that is we're going to have to change this three to make it into a 15, I'm going to have to do what? I'm going to have to multiply it by 5, right? So if I multiply this uh, bottom part of this fraction, the denominator by 5, I also have to multiply the numerator by 5. And so this is going to be 5 times 2 is 10. Of course, 5 times 3 is 15. So we have 10 or 15. So all I did here was to rewrite this fraction like this. It's an equivalent fraction. It's the same numeric value. It just looks different because we have the 15 in the denominator, and that's what we want, okay? All right, so we'll do the same thing here. We have to kind of fix this guy up. So we have to multiply the denominator by 3 in order to get a 15. So I have to multiply the numerator by 3. So this would be 3 over 15, right? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And there we go, all right? So now, at this point, now that I have the same denominator, 15, I simply just add the numerator. So 10 plus 3 is uh, 13. So 13 fifteenths. So you need to know how to work with rations in this manner. Okay, it's important, um, especially later on you know, when you're doing more complicated algebra equations, rational equations, etc. So um, this is definitely a great, uh, you know, thing to know because you must know this as a math student. Now the one thing that the one thing that we did here is we did, in fact, find the lowest common denominator, which was, in fact, 15. So this is our final answer, and so that's that, right? So this is typically how we would approach a problem like this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you, I'm going to re reveal <laughs> this little trick um, here, or shortcut. Now, 
one thing about this shortcut is you uh, when you're using it, you may not always get uh, a fraction with the LCD, okay? So you'll have to fully um, reduce it. But I'm going to get into that all here in a second, so let's just get to the trick. All right, I like to call this trick the bow tie method, okay? So uh, let's do a little stick figure here, and a bow tie looks like that, right? So it kind of looks like this, if you will. All right, so that kind of shape. So this is the bow tie uh, trick, bow tie shortcut, right? So just think of this, 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 and this. That's really what I want you to think of right in here. Do it this way and this way, okay? So the arrows are pointing like so. This is pointing this way and this is pointing this way. Now let's go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, so we'll start. Um, there's really no exact uh, correct starting uh Position. It's a three-step process. I always like to start this way. So we're going to go this way like this. Okay, this is our little arrow like so. So what we're doing is going to multiply diagonally. So 5 times 2, okay, so you got to follow along here. 5 times 2 is what? That's 10. So we'll write a 10 there. Now because this is an addition problem, okay, we're adding two fractions. I want to put a little addition sign, okay. Now I'm going to complete this second arrow this way. All right, so 3 times 1 is what? It's 3. There you go. Okay, now this is our numerator. So we're going to put a little line like that, like, like so, just like that. And then we're going to complete our last bow tie by going this way. 3 times 5 is what? 15. And that should look familiar to you because when we simplify this 10 plus 3, we get 13 over 15. That's the exact same thing uh, that we got using the LCD. Now, this, in fact, has the lowest common denominator, but uh, you can generate, uh, using this method is a great, 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 great method. You can get answers that don't have the lowest common denominator, right? So you really have to make sure you fully reduce your um, uh, fractions, okay? So that's the one thing that I would kind of emphasize, but this is a surefire way of getting um, problems correct every single time. Now, we're going to do some more examples here in a second, but let me show you real quick, because I don't want to forget this, that this works with variables as well. So let's say I have x over 4 plus y over z. Okay, so you're like, oh man, how do I deal with this kind of situation? Well, we can use the same bow tie method. Just remember, this way, this way, this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. So z times x, how do I write that in algebra? You just write that as a zx or an x is z, okay? This is an addition problem, so I'm going to put an addition operator. Then 4 times y is 4y. That's my numerator. And then 4 times z is 4z. There you go, okay? These two fractions, okay, is equivalent to this in algebra. So this uh, technique that I'm showing you, works with algebraic expressions uh, as well, with variables and numeric expressions. It is an excellent technique because you're, you're, you're going to be guaranteed to get your answer right. The only thing that might not be right is min that your answer may not be fully simplified or reduced. Now, I have a lot of other videos on how to reduce fractions, etc., so check that out. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some more examples here, right? Okay, so... Here we go. We got four sevenths minus two thirds. Again, uh, the old school way is we have to find the, the lowest common denominator, 21, and manipulate this, et cetera, et cetera. But we can use this bow tie method, right? We're not going to use the LCD method here. Just follow this. So if you want to go ahead and give this a try, of course, I'm going to solve it here in a second. I want to pause the video and see if you can do it. Okay, so here we go. So it's going to be three times four. All right, let's write our work right over here. 3 times 4 is, of course, 12. Now, this is a subtraction problem, so we're going to put our subtraction uh, operator right there. So 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12. 7 times 2 is 14. So you got to follow this order. Okay, so this times this, when you go in this, um, the first diagonal, all right, from the bottom right to the top left, that is our first number. Okay, so you got to do this exactly how I'm showing you, or you will get it wrong. 
So from the bottom right to the uh, bottom left, excuse me, to the top right, this would be the second number, and then whatever this operator here is, plus or minus, you know, put it right so, okay? And then 7 times 3, that's 21. That is, of course, our denominator. Now we got to be very careful here, all right, with our integer, positive, negative number value. So 12 minus 14 is what? <laughs> Hopefully you said negative 2 and not 2. All right, so if you, you said 2, you'd be mm, wrong, okay? You got to be careful. This is negative, right? So this is like plus negative 14, negative 2 over 21, and there you go. Now, again, this, this is fully simplified, but if it wasn't fully simplified or reduced, we would go ahead and, and reduce that. So uh, the one thing that's, you know, obviously depends upon is your ability to correctly multiply and add and subtract positive and negative numbers and Simplify, so you're not going to get 100% out of doing math using this trick. But what you um, are going to, um, you know, this trick comes in great. You know, the one advantage here is you don't have to think about finding the LCD, okay? And that could be kind of difficult, especially with very large numbers with students. Oftentimes, it's easier just to reduce a fraction down than, than to try to get the LCD. Again, I'm not saying you don't know how to uh, have to find the LCD, but if you want to just quick, direct answer, using this method will always get you um, the correct answer all the time. All right, let's take a look at another example. And just for convenience-wise, I kind of wrote out all the steps. So here I have a mixed number. So here's a problem, okay? So we have a mixed number plus a proper fraction. So 3 and 1 eighths plus 2 fifths. So how do we deal with this using that technique? Well, we're going to have to rewrite this guy as a uh, improper fraction. So 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25 over 8. So our equivalent problem is going to be this. Okay, so 25 over 8 plus 2 fifths, because now we, you know, we just want two single fractions, not a mixed number. Then we can go ahead and apply the uh, bow tie uh, technique. So it's going to be this times this. 5 times uh, 25 is 125 right here. Then 8, well, well, hold on, let me just say this is an addition problem, so we're going to put the addition operator right there, and this is forming our numerator, so we're going to go this way, 8 times 2 is 16, okay, and then 8 times 5 is 40, and then we just add everything up, 125 plus 16 is 141 over 40. Now, of course, uh, you know, you would want to simplify this and, be, and have this thing fully reduced. I believe this is fully reduced, but you would want to... Um, yeah, when we're reducing fractions, one thing that comes in really convenient is uh, knowing the divisibility rules, okay? So knowing if 2 goes into something, 3 goes into something, and that's a whole other uh, topic as well. But that's, you know, these are foundational type things you should know about math. But here's the bottom line. This, this problem right here is definitely 100% mathematically equivalent to this fraction, okay? Um, no doubt about it. The only thing is it just may not be fully simplified. All right, so that's the one caveat with this particular, um, you know, uh, trick that I'm showing you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another problem. All right, this is our last problem, and you can see, you know, we got like this kind of fraction. So let's go back to see what this, you know, what the one of the advantages here of um, having this, uh, knowing this, this trick, this bow tie method. Here, if I was like, okay, 110 and 94, I'd have to go find the LCD, okay? Which could be a little bit of work in and of itself, right? And some students, they, a lot of students struggle with that. Then they got to do a lot of writing, you know, multiplying. Once they've found the LCD, they're going to have to rewrite each fraction such that you have them in, uh, with the LCD as the denominator. Then you have to kind of go from there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, in kind of a surefire way, again, is using this bow tie method. Like, all right, I don't really want to think about the LCD. Let's just go ahead and do it. And then at the very end, I'll reduce the fraction. So here we go. So it's going to be 94 times 12 is going to be this 128. All right, this is an addition prompt. So I'm going to have addition right there. 110 times 5 is 550. Okay, so I'm just kind of writing it out. And then 110 times 94 is 10,340. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and add this 128 plus 550. I get this 678 over this uh, my denominator of 10 um, 10,340, and I get this fraction. Now this fraction can be reduced down. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to 
um, kind of, you know, make this into two. I, wanna, I don't want to distract you from uh, learning this method, okay? This is the correct answer, but again, you might get a problem or your answer is something like, you know, 20 over 30 is your result. You don't want to leave your fractions this way. You would want to write it as two-thirds. So knowing how to uh, reduce a fraction you know, for, uh, is generally a little bit easier than finding the LCD, especially with large numbers. Again, what's going to help you out here, um, of course, I have a lot of different videos on how to reduce simplify fractions, is knowing the divisibility rules, and you just kind of start whittling this fraction down so it's fully simplified. Okay. Oftentimes, I found that this is uh, very helpful for students, for students and all people who, you know, kind of struggle with adding or subtracting fractions because they get intimidated with the LCD and it gets confusing. So this avoids all that. All right. So um, again, this works with variables. It's just one of these must know. You got to know both. You got to know how to deal with the LCD for sure. Okay. You have to know how to simplify for sure. Uh, but this little hack trick, okay, the bow tie method is just a handy dandy tool. You just want to keep this in your math tool bag for sure. All right. So with that being said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you really like this, please, you know, smash that like button and, and I encourage you to subscribe. I'm posting stuff all the time. And again, if you really want uh, to learn from me, uh, want my complete full math instruction, uh, go ahead and check out the um, link in the description below. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.